So I decided to take a morning walk around my neighborhood and look at the beautiful sunset, I don't, or sunset, sunrise. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Now my phone said it was 89 right now. It is so not 89. But working out, it doesn't feel very cold at all. I did run some, so I'm not just walking, but I'm enjoying the walking because walking is also so beneficiary, beneficial. Yeah, I haven't had enough coffee to decide which one it is, but, uh, but yeah, um, even if you can get out and like walk a little bit, um, that's just super amazing for your body. And then I'm going to try to do an RPM workout right now. I am doing laundry too at the same time, so today's just going to be exhausting. I have so much things to do. We did decide not to move. We're going to stay put. So, hello from Tucson. This is a point I'm going to turn around and go back. This is a, um, I don't know what you call it, like an uh, elderly home. <laughs> My kids tease me, my son especially. He's like, Mom, just move across the street. <laughs> uh, it's a nice little facility. Actually, it's very large, but it's pretty on the outside. And then up around the corner, there's a huge water fountain. Right now, it's not flowing. But when I had Mr. Smokey, the gosh, who would always want to jump in there, I'd have to keep him out. Once in a great while, in a hot summer day, I'd let him jump in. And by hot, I mean like 85, because you know me, I do not like the heat. Oh, this is a nice picture. Yeah, that's Tucson. At least on the east side. All right, we well, have a great day. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye. So I was sitting here doing my exchange and I looked down and saw Marshall. Sorry, my room's such a mess. <laughs> and this is why you don't have pets when you uh, are on dialysis. I wanted to show you, um, I'm making Ben the last of the little quail eggs. <laughs> They're so little. I don't know how to flip them. Well done. Okay, got them flipped over. <laughs> and now um, I'm going to take them off and then put them on his plate. They're so cute and little. That's like the size of maybe half a regular chicken egg. But it's all good. I'm going to make him some pancakes now. Okay, so today is kind of crazy. And I've changed my living room around again. And I'm changing everything around again because now we are settling in for at least a year here a lot of work. I'm going to show you um, what I've done outside though. I think it's much better. Let me flip you around. Okay, so I literally, from this side over here, got those, got everything up and off of the ground so we have nice room thinking about maybe getting a um, like a little mat on here and ugh, this was a lot of work it's it's kind of like Legos or Tetris where you have to try to figure out where and how and height because I wanted it up high but also organized so I think I got it I think I got it okay I think I'm gonna put this one down here though there's no need for it to be like that crazy. Maybe something like that. There we go. That balances a little bit more. Okay. And then we uh, totally purged this closet. So there's a little bit of stuff that I still have to figure out. 
but um, I'm going to put shelving in there and really get that organized nicely. But I feel much better about out here. Um, got rid of a bunch of the pots that are just empty with nothing in them. I'm just going to focus in on what I do have and that's about it. And then here I went ahead and this one was higher. It was actually that big piece outside so I lowered it and I think this looks much nicer. I think I'm going to get rid of this whole thing, put the fish back up on Ben's thing, move Charlie over here, um, which this long dresser is going to go over there for Ben. And then the living room can be bigger because I'm going to pull the bike forward and uh, hopefully everything will be good. But as you can tell, it's pretty crazy. And I just fed Marshall his goodies and he's off and exploring because now he's like, oh, and I looked for this stuff to go right here, but I can't seem to find it. I know the dollar store used to sell them. It's so I can kind of put like a barrier because I think Marshall's too big to fit maybe under, but if he were to climb, he could fall. And I don't want him out there unsupervised, but at the same time, you just don't know what could happen. But I know that they sell stuff that you can put like border, like garden borders. And um, I've seen them before and they're like a dollar or two. And um, you break off the long legs that would go in the dirt. And so then it's just a border around and it's about a foot high. So that would be safe for him to be out there. But also, um, I have his cage out there too, and I don't think I would let, I would never let him out there <laughs> without me anyways, but that would be just another safety precaution. So let me flip you around again. So here I'm going to move that fish tank, get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Um, have to organize that. Got to organize that. <laughs> Ben's like, I think I need this log. And I'm like, I don't think your roommates want you to have that log. Um, this rack was over there behind. But I'm going to see if I can pull Ben's room out this way just a little bit. And the living room that way a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of these two couches and try, try to get like a an adult kind. Um, and then I'm going to put this in the kitchen. So as you can see, I did get all those clothes taken care of. They're over there, but I cannot reach any of them. All this stuff is in the way and I don't want to move the table because Donnie's actually fixing that speaker and it has to stay put and not be moved or touched or anything. So that is what it is. Um, I'm going to see if I can kind of get the kitchen to be working order a little bit differently. I do want to edit quite a few things out and then also put up a bunch of my stuff, my decoration stuff that I was just holding off because I was like, are we moving? Are we, aren't we moving? So yeah. All right. Anyways, I will keep you guys in the loop. Um, Sunday, no Saturday, a friend of mine, really good friend of mine. So we showed up there and we helped her move and it was so, it wasn't hot. It wasn't hot, but it was. And I am so drained from doing that. And then, because we had Ben, we decided to, um, I wanted to get, uh, mostly in the closet, in the outside closet, was uh, Christmas stuff. So I wanted to get that taken care of. And um, Javier has a storage unit that was barely being used, so we put all the Christmas stuff, all that extra stuff in there. Um, I packaged up a bunch of the craft stuff that I'm just not going to get to for now um, in the storage. And then there's some stuff under my bed that I was like, no, I could use, I could totally utilize this real estate much better than I'm doing. So it's just been crazy around here. Um, and we're leaving Thursday to go on a mini tour with the band. So I want to also get this house together because... Uh, my good friend Faye is going to come and stay here and watch Charlie and Marshall while we're gone. So I just need to, to get, I, I feel antsy, like I need to get everything together. I'm so tired though. Um, the sun literally drained me on Saturday. <laughs> I mean, drained, 
me. And I did carry just a little because obviously I can't carry a lot. So it was really Dawn and Ben that helped. And it was just wonderful to see Ben helping because he doesn't really know this family, but this family's been a part of our life forever. And um, he just knows like it was a good thing for us to do because our friends are older and for them to be to have to do all of that it would have taken them all freaking day. So for the people who did show up and then we showed up, we were able to knock it out in a couple hours. But again, it was so hot. And I tried to help, but it was like, I could take the pillows <laughs> because it's just too heavy. And I don't want to tear my peritoneum. And I did get dehydrated. My drains were horrendous. Like, I put in two, got out two, put in two, got out two. And what that means when you're exposed to the elements like that pretty much means that you're becoming dehydrated. So your body starts to, could start to absorb the um, dextrose. So <laughs> um, I did hydrate and I tried to take time yesterday to hydrate. And then we didn't load up the stuff that we were moving until like five or six because the, the weather's cooler. And um, it, it was wonderful too, because the storage unit was actually in the shade. So shade is just so important. The $14, $15 visor from Walmart, it's the Dickies brand. It's really thick. And in Tucson, it's so important. Like you can tell the difference between that visor and a different visor because you just don't want you want to try to get as much heat away from the inside of a vehicle as much as possible. And those really do work well, even though they're a lot more expensive, but I don't even care. I'm like, no, I'm getting you this because you need to have this. I need to have this in the truck. Like I, I don't want to be burning to death and then I get grouchy and it's all crazy from there. So anyways, <laughs> and I have a lot of other stuff to do today, but I'm just going to stay in the apartment and try to fix it today and tomorrow so that Wednesday I could actually relax and pack and be ready for the trip and not feel like, you know, I, I just have this thing too, where I really, I don't like clutter. I can be eclectic. Like I, you can, you guys know I'm eclectic, but in the eclecticness, I don't want to be cluttery and I don't want garbage and I don't want broken things. So I am glad that we started putting stuff in the storage unit because I'm going to put a bunch of those empty pots um, that don't have plants in the storage unit and then just really focus in on the plants I do have. I might get a couple other succulents, <laughs> to be honest. 